Hello my fellow Pisces, thank you for being here. I hope you're doing fabulous today. Let's get right into your reading, Pisces. So if you are here, you're meant to be. Also, you're super cool. So let's get into your reading, Pisces. What do you need to know today? Let's see. First card, we have prickly. Okay. <laughs> you might be feeling a little prickly, a little pissed off about something. You might be in a little prickly situation. Someone might be feeling a little prickly towards you, or at least maybe that's how you're perceiving it. So let's, what's on top of that? We have bang, bang. I feel like I've been getting this card a lot and there's like 200 cards in here almost. So there's a reason, I, I guess something or, uh, someone is about to make some kind of noise in your life. Um, but bang, bang and prickly, I'm getting just unneeded chaos is coming to mind. So maybe somebody's just kind of pushing your buttons or like causing a stir in your life in some negative way. They're getting on your nerves. That's something that's kind of getting or coming to mind. Somebody, somebody here is kind of getting on your nerves. Let's look at the, the recent past. We have the high priestess Pisces energy. The first thing that came to mind with, with that is that you have taken a step back from this situation. You know, although it still might be getting to you a little bit, you might be still a little annoyed by this person. At some point in the recent past, you have decided to remove yourself from the situation and like center yourself because it's like, you know, that if you allow this person to pull you into this drama, it's not going to help anything. <laughs> it's certainly not going to help you. And yeah, I think you, you've made the right choice. And this could be future influence. This could be something that could be about to happen. And, you know, you might eventually, you know, decide to remove yourself from the situation. So what's in the hidden energy here for Pisces? We have the Knight of Cups. Okay. Hidden energy. So there could be some hidden feelings here. Maybe somebody likes you more than they're, they're leading on. It's like they're coming off kind of like an asshole, right? <laughs> like male or female, they're coming off like a, a, a kind of a, a, a prick, an asshole. But deep down, they have these softer feelings for you. And you wouldn't know that because this person has such a hard shell. Okay, surface energy, we have three of pentacles. Yeah, I just, I kind of feel like this is you moving on, wanting a different option. Because again, this person, I am going to clarify the situation a bit more after I lay everything out, but it's just, this person has gotten on your nerves. I don't know if they're just not making moves or, you know, or they're just an asshole. I, <laughs> and it's such a, a mixed energy here is because, uh, you know, there, there are these hidden feelings, but, it, but then they treat you like shit or they like say mean things. They push your buttons. And again, I don't know if this is like their weird, immature way of like flirting or something, but it's not working, okay? <laughs> so near future, what else? We have the Page of Swords. So it looks like you're walking away. You're not putting up with this, this situation, but it looks like they're gonna watch you. They're gonna keep their eye on you. I'm getting like a plotting and scheming kind of feeling off of that, off that Page of Swords. Like they're, they're watching you even though you've walked away and they're like trying to figure out like, Hmm, how can I, how can I get Pisces back into my life? Or how can I sneak my way back into Pisces life? It's like, they're going to love me eventually. It's like this feeling of them almost, I don't know if it's really arrogance, but it's like, I'm going to get Pisces to fall in love with me somehow. I don't know, but it, it's just this weird, arrogant, assholey kind of energy off this person. I don't know how to describe it. Maybe you know if this is resonating, you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> okay? So the advice portion here, we've got, we've got twins. <laughs> this is from Scary Movie 3, you know, the part where he's like, and twins, and then everybody just starts partying. So your advice portion is, you know, <laughs> maybe go party. No, you don't have to go party. That's not, that's not necessarily the card's meaning is to go have fun, do your own thing. You know, maybe there's another option out there. There are, you, you know, obviously two people on this card, you know, maybe there's another option coming in. Maybe there's a better option in your life that you kind of have your eye on already. But, you know, again, the message being have fun, you know, follow your, your heart, your passion, your intuition. If this person's making you feel like shit and you want to remove yourself from that situation, 
your intuition's telling you that for a reason. And obviously, you don't deserve to be treated like shit. And again, I don't really feel like this person treats you like shit. It's just that they have this weird, like, way of flirting. Like, you know how in, like, elementary school when a kid has a crush on another classmate or whatever, and they just bully them? <laughs> it kind of reminds me of that. And it's like, come on, we're adults here. You don't have to play those weird child childish games. You can just come out with it that you have a crush on me or whatever. Um, but yeah, like the advice here, just do your thing, have fun. There's other options out there. Okay, so what you need to know. We have the Three of Cups. Yeah, go out, have fun. I mean, those are perfectly just aligning with each other there. There's another option out there for you. Maybe you don't see this person right now. Maybe they're not really in your life right now, but they're coming in. Okay, there's another option. That's something that keeps coming to mind. There's another option. Okay, and we have Judgment. That is the hopes and fears, Judgment. I think the what that's saying is that you're afraid you're not going to be able to let this person go. Maybe that sounds icky to some of you. You're like, oh, hell yeah, I can let this person go. But there's something for some of you. There's something about this assholey prick person <laughs> that like triggers you and they get on your nerves. But it's almost like they drive you crazy. But at the same time, there's something in you that that you just really want with them. Like I, you just really want them, even though they drive you you nuts. Does that make sense for any of you? Is that resonating for any of you? So that's that's why there's this feeling of like not being able to let them go. Not being able to like shut down these feelings, okay? But again, there is another option here. And that could also be why this Knight of Cups is here in this hidden energy. I think this is kind of have this kind of has a double meaning. You know, it's their hidden emotions, but also this new person that you may not know about. Okay, so potential outcome. We have spying. Okay, more spying energy. It looks like this person, you know, they don't want to let you go. And again, for some of you, and I repeat, some of you, not all of you, some of you kind of have this weird connection with them, this weird tension with them. It's like you can't stand them, but at the same time, you kind of want to bang them. I don't... <laughs> you kind of want to not be away from them. It's so hard to describe this this dynamic here. If you know, you know, all right? Um, but there are other options. You know, you don't have to stick to this one that just drives you freaking bonkers all the time, right? So let's take a look at this new person coming in. We have death, Scorpio energy. So someone new, someone, I don't think you've met this person before. So again, that's why it's in, it's hidden. It's, you don't know that you have this other option kind of lurking in your energy already. And that could also be that spying card as well. Maybe they see you first before you notice them and not in a creepy way, not in like a stalkery way. <laughs> I mean, I hope not. <laughs> Let's see what else we have wasting time. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to say it. You know, personally, I don't believe we ever waste time. We're always where we're meant to be. We are, we're always, you know, we come across the, per the people you're supposed to come across because we have lessons to learn, damn it. Okay. <laughs> but, you know, at the end of the day, there are other options. This person, this assholey kind of person, if they can't, like, you know, man up or woman up and, like, express their emotions without being a total tool, uh, yeah, it's best to move on. Except whoever this is, they're just, they have this weird fear of being vulnerable and like opening up and like showing that they actually care about somebody. And after a while, it's like maybe at first it's a little tempting. It's like, it kind of gets your, your curiosity going. It kind of makes you feel like, well, I'm going to be the one who pulls them out of their shell and change them. No. Like, has that ever worked for anybody? No. That, that's where you start wasting your time, right? So yeah, there is this feeling of, you know, there's something new around the corner. They're coming in. You don't, I, don't, I feel like for the majority of you, you don't know who this is. So again, let's look. Let's look at them. We have the Six of Cups. We have Badass. We have Hot and Cold. 
Why is that here? We have two of cups. I feel like whenever you meet this other person, they're, they're leaving a situation kind of around the same time you're leaving a situation. I feel like I get that for you a lot. Like you meet somebody who's kind of dealing with similar things that you're dealing with. Um, but it's somebody who's just tired of the hot and cold. I just, that's something that keeps coming to mind. It's just, I'm just so freaking tired of the games. Like that's something that's coming to mind. So maybe that's something that they, they will say, or maybe you say it and you're, they're like, oh my God, yes. It's like, can we just like have fun? Like, damn. <laughs> So the Two of Cups, this is like a, a deeper connection. We have Soulmate. I mean, are you kidding me? This is like the perfect card that could have come out after after what I just said. Soulmate. This is a soulmate coming in. And Badass. This is somebody, I want to say they're more on your level compared to this other person. Like this person has learned their lessons. They've leveled up. You've leveled up. You know, unfortunately, this prickly person has not leveled up. You know, maybe eventually they will. But as of right now... They're still playing their games. They're still being immature. They're they're still being too afraid to like open up their heart and say how they feel instead of acting like a five year old. Um, and yeah, there's somebody new coming in. All right. So, what else about this new person? We have power. Very powerful connection. And also they they hype you up. That's something that came to mind. They hype you up. They make you feel good. You both like come together and hype each other up. Like this is like power couple vibes. Even if you don't necessarily like work together or whatever, this is like power couple. I mean, we have soulmate and power. Power soulmate couple <laughs> and badass. I want to say that you guys are like unstoppable because it's like you've both been through it. You've leveled up. You're tired, tired of the bullshit. It's like, can we just like live life and be happy now? It's like, can I just find somebody who like hypes me up and like supports me and like encourages me to go after my dreams and goals? Like this is the person that will do that, right? And I feel like you'll do the same to them. It's like you're both each other's cheerleaders. <laughs> that is totally the energy I'm getting off this connection. And we have Foxy. Okay, so attraction, fiery, putting yourself out there. Like again, you guys like hype each other up. For some of you, they might be a mu musician. That's something I feel like I need to say. We have two of pentacles, again, reflection. It's like you work very smoothly together. I'm, I'm getting a very smooth two of pentacles here. It's like you just flow, everything just flows. And then on the bottom, we have guided. So this is someone who's meant to be on your path, okay? Hmm. All right, so is there any last minute messages before I close out this reading. Anything else Pisces needs to know? It could be something not even related to this connection. So anything else? Okay. Holy shit. Well, a lot of cards here came out. I think I'm going to take, we have reaching out. We have eight of wands. I mean, that goes perfectly with reaching out. You're about to get communication from somebody. We have the 10 of swords. And then under that, we have the nine of pentacles. So this is you freeing yourself from the prickly person, from the prick. <laughs> yeah. And then you're in this nine of pentacles energy, like free, sexy, hot, single, ready to mingle. And oh boy, are you about to mingle, right? We have the queen of wands, sexiness, again, fiery. This could be a fire sign coming in. We have the lovers, Gemini energy. Again, going back to that two of cups, the soulmate card. You have this major connection coming in. And we have this lost card, which I feel like right now you might be feeling a little lost. And look at what's on the bottom. We have the king of wands, so fire sign. This could be a fire sign coming in. Or at least something just very passionate, hot. Um, it's like you both hype each other up. Like this is something I keep picking up in this reading. You both hype each other up. You lift each other up. You don't break each other's down. Again, I feel like I'm talking to a Pisces and, you know, the person that I'm connecting with that you're eventually going to meet here. It's like, you're so tired of the games of the bullshit. You're so tired of, you know, not getting the love and respect that you give to others. But this person comes in and it's like, you were lost, but baby, you are found, right? So anything else? I feel like, you know, the last minute message here is just confirming everything I was just telling you. <laughs> this connection coming in, 
We have Seven of Cups. Yeah, letting go of the illusions, letting go of the past. I think I'm just going to end it there because, you know, I feel like I, I got this message down for you, Pisces. All right. So if this resonated or if you just enjoyed the reading, leave some bananas in the comments. Leave some middle fingers, too, if you want. You know, I know that YouTube was deleting some of those middle finger comments, but, you know, do it at your own risk. If you notice that the middle finger comment was deleted, try a banana. <laughs> so bananas and or middle fingers have at it. Um... But yeah, if you this resonated, make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Pisces, bye.